Hello, first graders. Today I'm going to read you another silly story called The Very Cranky Bear by Nick Bland. I have permission to read this book from Scholastic. In the jingle jangle jungle, on a cold and rainy day, four little friends found a perfect place to play. Moose had marvelous antlers and lion a golden mane. Zebra had fantastic stripes and sheep, well, sheep was plain. None of them had noticed that someone else was there. Sleeping in the cave was a very cranky bear. Roar, went the cranky bear. Roar, roar, roar. He gnashed his teeth and stomped his feet and chased them out the door. So in the jingle jangle jungle, on a cold and rainy day, four little friends had nowhere warm to play. Wait a minute, said Zebra, as she scratched her furry chin. Maybe if we cheer him up, he'd let us come back in. If I did not have stripes, said Zebra, I'd be cranky too. We should give that bear some stripes. That's what we should do. Stripes are silly, Moose complained, especially on a bear. My antlers always cheer me up. Let's give that bear a pair. No, 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 said Lion. Antlers are a bore. A golden mane like mine, he said, would cheer him up for sure. So Zebra fetched a tin of mud and Lion some grass of gold. Moose got two big branches and sheep, well, sheep got cold. Sheep was getting worried. They've been eaten up for sure. And then from in the cave, cave there came a very cranky roar. Zebra, lion, and mouse ran out and bear was right behind them. They hid behind the bushes where they hoped he would not find them. Why is he still cranky? He's got antlers, stripes, and mane. Before we gave him those, Lion said, he looked so very plain. As Bear stormed back inside the cave, he turned and roared at Sheep. All I really want, he said, is a quiet place to sleep. So she fetched a pair of clippers, and she clipped off half her wool. She stuffed it in a cotton bag until the bag was full. She tiptoed back inside the cave. Excuse me, Bear, she said. Would you like a pillow for underneath your head? Well, thank you very much, said Bear, and soon he fell asleep. Maybe he was dreaming of plain but thoughtful sheep. Today, first graders, I want you to write about how you noticed the friends tried to help the cranky bear. What did they do?